Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, my name is Mark Denisha. I am a physical therapist, and just over a year ago, I bought this beauty. Hello, beautiful. Mark can stand in it. Look at this thing. And put your hand up a little bit. There it is. 2020 Ford Transit, 22 feet long with an extra high roof, so clearance is six, eight or so inside. Over the past year, there's been a ton of changes. Not only did I fully build out this transit as a mobile physical therapy clinic, but my wife and I recently moved. We are proud residents of Austin, Texas. So far, we're loving Austin. I think it's going to be the perfect place for this van. There's lots of space. People have driveways. I can pull up into their driveways and treat them there. It's going to be perfect. Okay, so I wanna give you guys a tour of the van. I'm excited to show you what I've done, show you what it looks like, and all the equipment and things that I have going on in here. So, let's go. Okay, let's start. Let's start right off with something that's not done. This. You can see the layers of plywood and insulation. I just need to get something to cover that. But I did add a step bar. So that's nice. So you can see shelf I built and that was harder than anticipated. It took me a long time. Half inch plywood and then on top is this acacia butcher block which has been stained and sanded. And I really love this piece. Over here, you guys have already seen this I think. This is the captain chair that I put on a swivel. So next up, we have running water in here. We'll flip the switch. Oh yeah. Whoa, too powerful. Yeah, so I thought it would be really nice to have a sink so that people could wash their hands. Let's take a look inside the drawers. I warn you, these have not been organized fully yet. Yeah, there's a lot of junk. But you can see, have some basics, some rock tape, uh, thermometer. I just picked this up the other day. This is an Insego Wi-Fi hotspot with T-Mobile. And this thing is pretty awesome. I just have this so that I will be able to access my EMR systems while I'm on the road. Second drawer, more PT stuff, all kinds of uh, gels and creams and straps and tapes, all that towels and more organizers you like that soft clothes Ooh, nice I'm proud of that and the bottom drawer we have the fridge with some ice packs nice so I'm not sure if you got to see this, but this was really pretty simple to install. It's just snapped together vinyl flooring. I love it, I love it. And I've got a lot of compliments on the color of the floor, so really like that. And overhead, I've got more storage. Real simple, just a sliding door. It's a mess in there. It's a mess. And I found these little grips on Amazon and it just happened to be a perfect fit for this Bluetooth speaker. And I actually installed one here and there is another one that I've got here on the side. So yeah, perfect fit, easy access. So I'm a really big fan of kettlebells and I like this Bowflex because the weight is adjustable. So now I've got 35, 40, three and a half pounds. This is a nice alternative instead of having six different kettlebells. And here is the bench I built. And you can see the main power source. So this is an EcoFlow Delta. And this bad boy powers the van. Right now, running the fridge and the lights, I, get, I can get about 45 hours. Battery's at 90%. This is the DC connection, so this powers most of the things in the van. And then over here, you can't really see, those are the AC plugs. 
and then over here of course tons of bands and i just picked this up recently this is a brazen brazen collapsible foam roller so look at that it's perfect fits right in there typical foam rollers just take up a ton of space so that collapsible one is really nice and so now i've got this nice leather cushion bench seat my mom actually hooked me up and sewed that cover on and then inside here more storage and this is a rowing machine it's a whipper rowing machine that i picked up it was a kickstarter i will put it all together and show you that in a second but yeah it all breaks down stored nice and neat in here now i left this open because this is actually the ac vent so the air gets shot out through here and if we move this out of the way there is more storage so this is another piece for the whipper and underneath this sits the air conditioner and i put plugs all throughout so these are usb plugs for charging and that's a dc port or a dc plug and i installed this pretty cool led lighting just right on that switch and this switch over here simple rocker switch controls the overhead lights And again, more USB ports to charge and some plugs. Okay, so now looking at the back of the van, you guys saw this. This is the rubber mat I installed. So this is where, if there's any weights like the kettlebell or anything heavy, I'll have that, that'll be done here. I actually picked up this chair the other day, yesterday, from a Bass Pro Shop. It's got a nice swivel. It's actually a hunting chair. But it swivels and it folds up pretty small so that's that's convenient everything i have in here it has to be able to fold up and just be able to get out of the way so down here got a pretty thick exercise mat just folds up nice and small and so on the back door here i added this rail system and then i made this little desk it's just mounted to these brackets and it just pops right off. And then I've got my massage table. I've got a little television here in case I want to show any demo videos or anything like that for the patients. As you can see, I did a couple small detail things, more of that acacia butcher block. I made some small shelves on either side, stained it, recessed the walls, this is just really thin sheet board, maybe a quarter inch. So you can see it just kind of follows the contour of the van. Um, the ceiling, these were just some pine planks I picked up at uh, Home Depot. I had to sand them, stain them. It was a process. So in the rubber floor, I cut out holes for this L track. It's a tie down system. So let me show you how this works. So let's just pull this piece out so now what you've got are these d-rings and you can put those anywhere you want along this rail system there so now that is secured in these rails are actually uh, I use construction adhesive and screws so these are in there solid so yeah so now I've got that and let me show you what we can do with that so I've just attached one of those bands to a carabiner to the D-ring. So now I can do lateral shoulder raises. So basically it just serves as an anchor point to do any type of band exercise that I want to do. And then overhead, this is another tie down system. This is called E-Track. I still have to paint those black. But here is a little D-ring anchor that'll just slip in there. So now I've got an anchor point from the ceiling a little loop so this can be used this I mean you can't do pull-ups or anything like this but you can use this to help balance so if I have someone doing some single leg activities they can just use this for a little assistance or again another little anchor point to do light light band exercises and there you go so 
In about five minutes, I was able to set this thing up. So this is the Whipper, which is basically a cable pull machine. It's small, it's portable, it just pops on, off and on. Let's see, let's see, I can take that. Let's see, it comes right off. So I will be using this for several exercises, but in this instance, Look at that, got a nice little rowing machine right here in the van, perfect. So there you have it. That is the Forever Forward Physical Therapy Mobile Clinic. If you have any questions about anything, shoot me an email, DM, leave a comment below. I always respond and I love hearing from everybody. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, really helps the channel out and check back because I am going to start posting videos on this channel regularly. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed it and take care. See you in the next one.